First thing first, we are going to make a slip knot. Then make the chain. For making this top, I'm using 4.5mm crochet hook. To chain, yarn over and pull throughout the loop. Repeat this until you have 85 chains. It is the length of my body. If you want the top bigger, please add more chains. And now, after you got 85 chains, then we are going to make single crochet. To begin, skip one chain. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through off the loop. So now, you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every chain until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. So this one it is just a sample because the color brown that I have made is really dark and it can see clear in the video. So the process is the same thing. Like I said, if you want it bigger, please add more chains. And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. For the next next roll, we are going to repeat roll 2 until you reach roll 21. And if you want the top longer, please add more rolls. So as you can see here, I have made 21 rows, and this is what the lower part looks like. Next, fold this into two pieces and you can see the middle part. Use stitch marker to mark it. And now we are going to make the bust part. So continue where your last stitches and we are going to make half the ball crochet. To begin, chain 2, 
turn your work to make half double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the loop yarn over and pull through off the loop so now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the loops repeat this into every stitches until you reach the stick marker and i will meet you back again And now after you reach the stitch marker, then we are going to chain 2, turn your work, and make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 18. It is the length from under bust to the chest. And if you want it longer, please add more rows. Or if you want it shorter, please make less row. And now, after you got your desired fit, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now, we are going to make the second side by repeat the same thing as the first one. First, attach the yarn. Then chain 2 
and make half the ball crochet into every stitches until you reach the end of the roll. And now after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make half the ball crochet into the same stitch with the first side. Next, for row 2, we are going to chain 2, turn your work, then make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 18. It is the same number of the row of the first side. Then we are going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. So here is what the real top looks like. In total row for both parts, you must have 39 rows. So I choose this part as a right side and this part as the wrong side of the top. You guys can choose any side as the right side of the top. And next, we are going to make the back corset. First, attach the yarn. And chain 1 Then make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row And I will meet you back again
And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 2, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row, and we'll meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 3, we are going to make the corset holes. First, chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make 3 more chains. After you have made 3 more chains, then skip 3 stitches and make 3 single crochet. And now, after you have made 3 single crochet, then we are going to chain 3 again. Skip 3 stitches and make 3 single crochet. Repeat this into every stitches until you reach the end of the row and I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, you have to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For the remaining yarn, use Danny needle to hide them. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side by attach the yarn and make single crochet for 2 rows. Then row 3, we are going to make the corset hole again. So for the second side, I start from the half double crochet part because I want the right side of the stitch is on the right side of the top. When you flip the top and you can see the different stitch between both sides. And after you reach the end of the row, we are going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Make sure that both sides have the same number of the stitches. For the next part, we are going to make the lace for the back corset. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 5. And for the back lace, I'm using 3.5mm hook. And now, after you got 5 chains, then we are going to make the ball crochet. First, skip 2 chains to make the ball crochet. Yarn over. 
insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through of two loops, and yarn over, pull through of two loops again. For chain two, also count as a stitch. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row. Next, for row 2, chain 2, turn your work, so this loop near the chain 2, we are going to skip it and make half the ball crochet into the next loop. Remember, for chain 2, also count as a stitch. And now, after you got 3 stitches, for the last stitch, we are going to make it into the chain 2 stitch. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 157. It is the length of the lace. If you want the lace longer, please add more rows. And now, after you have made the back lace, next we are going to make the front lace. It's really easy. First, make a slip knot, then make 200 chains. It is the length of the lace. If you want it longer, please add more chains. After you got your desired fit, then cut off the yarn and pull the string tight.
And now your crisscross top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. Please stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.
First, we are going to make a slip knot to chain yarn over and pull through the loop. Then make a single crochet start from the second stitch. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this until the end of the row. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now you can see the V shape here and we are going to pick the back loop only. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat the same thing until the end of the row. So for the last stitch, we are going to pick the both loop. Then chain one and turn your work. Repeat this row until you reach your size around your waist. Then we are going to make a slip stitch to stitch them together. To make slip stitch, insert the hook into both sides of the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops.
After finish the last stitch, chain 1 and make a single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this around until the end of the row. Now we are going to make a slip stitch. Turn your work, then chain 1. Mark them to know where you're going to make a slip stitch at the end. And repeat the same thing. Always turn your work when you finish the slip stitch, then chain 1 for beginning. I made 23 rows. Chain 1 and turn your work. Mark the other side. Make sure both sides are equal. So continue where you are now. Single crochet into the first stitch. Then we are going to make a decrease stitch. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. Insert your hook into the loop and yarn over, pull through the loop. So now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then make a single crochet into the next stitch until you have three last stitches. Now we are going to make a decrease. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. Insert your hook into the loop and yarn over, pull through the loop. So now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then make a single crochet, chain one and turn your work. Repeat the same thing, single crochet and decrease. Now we are going to make a decrease and single crochet. Chain 1 and turn your work. Repeat the same thing. I made 17 rows. Now we are going to make the same pattern as the pattern around the waist. Chain 5. And single crochet into every stitch. You should have 4 stitches, then turn your work and connect them together by making slip stitch into 2 loops.
then turn your work and make four single crochet and chain one turn your work repeat the same thing until the end of the row Chain 1 and cut off the yarn Now we are going to attach the yarn into the loop and making the same pattern Repeat the same thing as the neckline pattern Chain 5 the same and make 4 single crochet At this point, repeat the same thing I repeat this again because I don't want you guys to confuse Make 4 single crochet And chain 1 Turn your work, repeat the same thing until the end of the row Repeat same thing at this point also After we have 4 single crochet, chain 1 and turn your work And repeat the same thing, make 4 single crochet and chain 1 We are going to make the same pattern as the waist pattern I made 43 rows, make a slip stitch to connect them together And now we are going to connect this area, attach the yarn into the loop and make 4 single crochet
then slip stitch into two loops and turn your work repeat the same thing insert the remaining of the yarn into the stitch by using dining needle to guide them Okay, now you got a cute tank top, so now let's try them on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.